here we are. At our home. In our living room. In our living room. In our dining room. With our family. We those we love. Today, wherever you are located, you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. We are still connected. Today, we gather as one body. One body. One body. Because the church is not a building, it has never been. It has never been. We gather today as one church. One church. To lift up one name. The name of Jesus. Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. So wherever you are, today is the day the Lord has made. Today is the day to give Him thanks. So let's unite. One body, let's worship. Let's, let's praise His name. For He is worthy of it today and every day. Because we are still the church. We are 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 the church. May nagmamahal na ba sa'yo kung wala'y ako na lang? Achiche! Happy Hearts Day to Red Bam! Kinsay mga in Lababo dira! Sana all! Kaway-kaway naman dyan! Ako kay Lababo Rajod ang naasaan mo ha! Kidding aside, so to all of our viewers out there, may your hearts be filled with God's love today. By the way, this is your love guru, Este, your host for today, Pastor Rapao. And you are watching The Word for Everyone Church Online. So sa lahat po ng nagmamahalan dyan, respeto naman po sa mga single. <laughs> Hatik lang, so kidding aside, single ka man, taken o taken for granted. May nagmamahal po sa inyo. <laughs> we all have our first love. To some, it's their childhood sweethearts. To some, it's their first girlfriend or boyfriend. You may think of it that way, but let me tell you the truth. It's not your childhood sweetheart. It's not your first boyfriend or girlfriend. But our God is our first love. So, ingon po sa 1 John 4.19, We love because God loved us first. So, sa Tagalog pa, tayo'y nagsisiibig sapagkat siya'y unang umibig sa atin. Kaya, wag na wag mong isipin na walang nagmamahal sa'yo. Dahil ang pagmamahal ng Diyos ay namatay at muling nabuhay para sa'yo. Masakit man para sa Kanya, lalo na tinalikuran at minsan na may ipinagpalit natin siya. Pero, grabe yung pagmamahal niya. Ipinaglaban ka hanggang sa kahuli-hulihang hininga. Wow! So my friend, you are loved, no? You are loved with an everlasting love by an eternal king. So kaya may love life ka man o wala, may Diyos na nagmamahal sa'yo ng tunay at tapat at kahit kailanman, hindi ka susukuan. So for our announcements, no? Patnayan gihapa ng ato ang nightly prayer that is from Mondays to Saturdays at 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. And on this Wednesday, it will be led by District 3, led by Pastor Brile Quares. Also, we have an announcement from our Kingdom Builders or our Children's Ministry calling all kids from 8 to 12 years old or sa mga mommy or daddy dyan na may mga anak who is a, whose ages is from 8 to 12 years old, you can enroll them sa atong online classes wherein there will be three kids 
prayer session. So if you want to enroll your kid no, or your uh, juniors whose ages are 8 to 12 years old, please PM Teacher Sheng Razo, Teacher Iris Villegas, or Teacher Joy Casido. Or if you have kids whose ages are 7 years old and below, you can enroll them sa ato ang mga toddlers. So you can contact Teacher Joy if you want to enroll your kids sa ato ang online Bible classes. So please watch this video. So before we proceed to our praise and worship, let us first greet our February celebrants. Happy birthday today to Adrian Alcantara who is celebrating his birthday today. And on the 16th, happy birthday Tita Sheila Babas. And on the 20th, happy birthday Tita Bing Castillo and Nana Nimisha Casido. Happy birthday guys and may you enjoy your birthdays with the favor and unfailing love of God. And now it's time to show our love for God as we join with the band in worshiping Him. So take it away, bond servants. Come on, Cavamillas, let's celebrate God's goodness upon our lives. Amen, ba? So let's glorify Him through our singing and dancing. You, Jesus.
Once again, later this afternoon at 12.30 p.m., a Sunster Davao partners with us in bringing an online praise and worship. And as you join later, please feel free to share the stream so we can reach out to more people online. Also, we would like to encourage everyone to follow and like our official Facebook page. That is the thread page. So for you to keep posted. And also, we have our official YouTube channel that is the word for everyone, Davao. Please like and subscribe for you to keep updated sa ato ang mga notifications and posts and videos sa ato ang YouTube channel. So, sa mga nagmamahal dyan, alam kong pinaghandaan niyo po ang araw na ito. I hope pinaghandaan rin po natin ang para sa Panginoon. So if we can exert much effort, no, and set aside some of our money or treasures or finances for our special someone para karong adlawa, let's do it as well for God. So ayaw ipang date ang imong tights, no? Ayaw ipang palit og chocolate ang imong offerings. Huwag nating ibigay sa iba ang nakalaan para sa Panginoon. So remember the message last Sunday, di ba? Blessed life, God must be second, third, fourth, no. God must be first. So let us put Him first before anything else or before anyone else. So to those who would want to give or show their love for God, pinagi sa ilang giving, just follow the simple ways on how to send your gifts to God. So you can send it via GCash or use online banking. And to those who would want it to be picked up for them para hassle-free, you can text this number right on this corner. Also, kung ang mga tao sa kalibutan na ay mga pa-flowers for you, ang mga nahigugma sa ginoo na ay pa-first fruits for you. Diba? So padayon gihapon ang ato ang first fruit giving within the month of February. So if you want to send your first fruit or give your first fruit, please contact Pastora Che for instructions. So the office will be open every Sunday afternoon to receive your first fruit giving. So our senior pastors will be there to receive your offerings, to receive your first fruits and declare blessings over your life and don't forget your 21 declarations so regarding our first fruit giving there were some of our thread feminine who already have given their first fruits so here is a short video for us to watch today hello thread family good morning everyone yes i will show you all the photos taken tanan nga among nateka videos sa from all those those ones who gave their first fruit early or like early end of January. So, karon, syempre kami po ni Pastor Blair naka-offer na sa among fest, no? So, we will all uh, show to you the pictures taken. Lahir yun ang feeling na na-release ang fest. As in, I tell you. And kami ni Pastor Blair and the leadership, malipayon kayo ni na sud or nag tan out, no? Upon seeing and watching these people na excited and happy na gihatag nila or gi offer nila ang ilang ang best of their first. So, okay. Lingkod lang diha and watch this video. Feel this with your love, Jesus. Thank you. 
pray also for your healing touch. Lord, upon Thank you, Lord, that this family will always be covering me. Lord, that you'll be ever prosper on that. And I thank you, Lord, Lord, oil speaks of your presence. Oil represents your presence. Man. Even in this house, Lord. Mm-hmm. Your presence, Lord God, Minar, Lord Jana, and the baby. Iyahang, 
ang um, mag-iahang paper sa mga is dili ni mo mag-pay og anything as long as mag-obey lang ka sa iyahang first. So, mo na ako ang greatest lesson na later na nung may langan o ganun ni na sa ako ang first group. Ang ano nakata ko sa mga first group, makita mo na ako na every time mo maghatag ko na i-blessing kung bali ko pinusang buha. Isang kasama sa good health, sa sa trabaho, sa mga present surprises, tayo na ako makita yung blessing. So, murag sa kuha, murag, murag di ato, ano din siyang part sa tuwang life na every every first, ano, month a year, like the first day happens sa iya ha. So, sa kuha is, bless kayo ko nga, every year, nagatag ko sa kuha first sa ginoon. So, nagatag ko salamat. I give my first fruit because I obey God. I give my first fruit. Uh, first of all, I love I love God and I want to be happy. And I experienced by giving my first fruit. Um, some of my desire was fulfilled. Thank you. Uh, the reason why I gave my first fruit because number one, it is in the Bible that we should give what is due to God. And second, I obeyed the word of God to give what is due to Him and because I love God. Thank you. I gave my first book because I love God. I experienced na po ang pagkamayo sa rin mo sa akong pinaboy o sa tibok na kong pamilya. about hope para sa mga patuloy na umaasa. Kidding aside. So, syempre, it's a message about love, a real and genuine love, entitled, Why Love is the Greatest. So, just a few reminders on how to watch our online streaming today. Number one, make sure that you have a strong data or Wi-Fi connection. Number two, don't forget to take down notes. Number three, participate actively. Number four, invite your friends or simply tag them one by one. Number five, don't forget to host a watch party so that your online friends can join us today. And number six, don't ever forget to remove all distractions so we can focus on the word today. So without further ado, help me welcome the Senior Pastor of the Word for Everyone Davao, Reverend Blair Quares. Good morning, happy Hearts Day to everyone. The world is celebrating Valentine's Day, but uh, it's appropriate to celebrate Hearts Day than Valentine's Day because every day is a love day. So, ngayong umagang ito, we are going to uh, celebrate you know, the Hearts Day because it's all about love. It's love in the air. No, sabi pa nga nila, it's love in the air. All over the world today, they are celebrating the love day. So happy hearts day to everyone. Happy love day to everyone. That's why the message that I'm going to share to you today, it talks about the love that is the greatest. Okay? In... Uh, in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 to 13. Okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 to 13. Sinabi dito, If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, 
I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship, that I may boast, but not have love, I gain nothing. Verse 4, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. Verse 5, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, there will, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put, ways, I put the ways of childhood behind me. For now, we see only a reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully. Even as I am fully known. Verse 13, this is the key verse. And now this three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. Let's bow down our heads and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today and we thank you, Lord, because you are the source of that love that we have read a while ago in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 to 13. Salamat, Lord, because you are the source of this love and this love will continue to grow in our hearts this love will continue to cover everything, even multitude of sin. We thank you for this perfect love that we receive from you today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. This morning, we are going to talk about what kind of love that we have received from God. And why is it, why it is called the greatest. But the greatest of this is love. Paul said, Apostle Paul said, and now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is love. Why in the world is love the greatest? Sa palagay mo, bakit among the three, bakit itong pagmamahal, kumbaga, ito yung the greatest, ito yung pinakamatindi sa tatlo. Okay, that is why I entitled my message today, Why Love is the Greatest. Why Love is the Greatest. I suspect most people of faith would look at these three words and their huge concepts, faith, hope, and love, and conclude that faith is the greatest. Isn't that what following God is all about? Yeah. You know, Maring sabihin natin, yung mga, mga faith believer, they will always say that, you know, faith is the greatest. Bakit love? Because without faith, you cannot please God. Okay, mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan kung uh, bakit love or bakit pagmamahal ang mas matindi among the three. 1 Corinthians 3.13 says, And now these three remain faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of this is love. This comes just after Paul's eloquent 
and famous description of what true love or agape love is. Remember, no? There are so many, uh, there's so many meaning about love. No? In, in the Greek, there's so many meaning about love. There's what we call eros, romantic love. There's what we call phileo, the friendly love or brotherly love. But this third one is called agape. That's the love that comes from the Father. This is the kind of love that we should exercise as believers in Christ. Because this, this love that we receive from God, this is the kind of love that doesn't expect something in return. Ibig sabihin, pag nagmahal ka, wala kang sisingilin na kapalit. Wala kang sisingilin na sukli. Ibig sabihin, when you love in the context of agape or agapao in, in the Greek, that means to say, your love is totally free. And your love is no strings attached. Hindi ka nag-aantay o hindi ka naghihintay ng kapalit sa ibinigay mong pagmamahal sa bawat isa or sa kapwa. So, while you might want to add to the list, here are five reasons I've found that point toward why love is the greatest. Bakit yung pagmamahal? Merong lima. No? Meron akong lima na na-discover dito na pwede nyo naman dagdagan. But to me, these, these are the, va- the basics. No? The explanation about love. There are five reasons Okay, why love is the greatest? Love is the essence of, number one, it's the essence of God Himself. Why? Because God is love. God is not just loving, but God is love. Magkaiba yung God is loving, that's the character, magkaiba rin yung God is love. God is love, meaning He is the source of that love. He, di, hindi lang ito karakter ng Panginoon, kung hindi Siya mismo ang ugat ng pagmamahal na ibinigay sa bawat isa sa atin. God is love. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in Him. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. God is love. Whoever lives in love, lives in God and God in Him. Ibig sabihin, pag ikaw ay nagmahal, yung pagmamahal na yan ay galing sa Diyos at yung pagmamahal na yan ay dapat, no? yung pagmamahal na yan ay dapat yun yung tunay na pagmamahal. Hindi yung description ng pagmamahal ngayon. Kasi ngayon, yung yung Uh, yung pagsabi ng I love you, parang tatlusin ko na lang eh. Tulusin ko na lang ng I love you ba? Yan, apoy ba? Masultihan lang I love you, Hannah. No? Kanang kiling na lang yun. I love you. Apoy nakasulti sa imo nga. Kanang guwapa ka. I love you. Ay, guy. O, ano ni? Ang abang mga babae, ano? Ang kaging na. Murag, ah, lumia to pa minaw na. You know, kanang I love you ka ron. No, kung dili na ni mo mapamatudan, dili na tinood, fake na siya. Unya, pag imo nang pag imo nang pamatudan, dapat imong imuhang sutaon unsay buot ipasabot niya na katong nay nagingon sa imo I love you, dapat masuta ni mo unsay iyang buot pasabot. Basi kay lahi mangod ang uban ron. No? Kana bitang muingog ay muingon sa imo I love you ang sunod ana, no? Mayon ta kung mingog I love you niya sunod na I will marry you. Will you marry me or I will marry you? Ay naman gyud ang dapat karugtong. Hindi yung oh I love you. Love ka ko ni mo. Ah, oh dai nang kasigaran nga dialogue ba. Labi na karong Valentines no. All over the world are celebrating the Valentine's Day. Labi na karon panahon sa Valentine Valentine's Day panahon ron sa mga mangingilad. No? Daghang kayong mangilad, panahon sa Valentine's. Uh, Abinin mo, ikaw lagi taga-agros, lima day mo kabuk. <laughs> so, 
dili na mao ang gugma nga ginapasabot sa 1 Corinthians chapter 13. This is the kind of love that is perfect. The kind of love that is perfect that really comes from God. Whoever lives in love lives in God. But this scripture, no, ang ibig sabihin ng love dito is agape. Hindi eros, hindi erotic or romantic love. Hindi rin ito phileo. Okay? Na ibig sabihin na friendly or brotherly love. Now, agape ito. Nung sinabi ni, 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 ni John, uh, God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God. And God in Him. Ibig sabihin nito, this is the perfect love of God. Number two. Okay? Number two reason why love is the greatest. Love is the essence of God's promise. Okay? Number two. God's promise. That is the essence of love. We are loved. For God so loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son. And so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. It's in John 3.16. Very familiar na verse. I don't need to elaborate. I don't need to expound because bata pa lang ta, we know this verse already. And we are so much acquainted with this verse. Sa lahat ng tao sa mundo, minahal tayo ng Diyos. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son for you and me in order for us to have eternal life. Number three, love is the greatest because love is the essence of our worship. Say it with me, worship. We are to respond to our God in love. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. Ibig sabihin, no, that the Ten Commandments was sum up with these two commandments. Number one, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, soul, and strength. And the second commandment is just the same with the first commandment, which is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now, our worship Our love for God should bring us into worship. Okay? Our love, our response to the love of God should be worship. Pagsimba. No? Pag may yung kag-worship, dili lang ni siya ka ng mga, manganta lang tag-worship songs. No? Dili lang siya bot-bot pa sa bot. Okay? Singing songs of worship should answer us to the throne of God, that's where the real worship will begin. Okay? When we say worship, that means everything. Lahat ng ginagawa natin, it should be for worship towards God. Okay? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Lahat ng ginagawa natin, mind, soul, and body, lahat ng ginagawa natin dito sa mundo, sa pamamagitan ng ating buhay, it should be answered towards worship. That is our worship to God. When we serve other people, that is our worship to God. That's why we give our best in serving people. When we honor our mother and our father, And we honor all the members of our family. That is also worship. Because when you love God, you have to love your parents. When you love God, you have to submit and honor your parents. Honor thy father and thy mother so that you will live long in the land. That's the only command with a promise. You will live long in the land. So lahat ng ginagawa natin sa kasalukuyan, 
dapat ito ay magdadala sa atin sa pagsamba sa tunay at buhay na Diyos. Hallelujah. Number four. Love is the greatest because love is the essence of our mission. Uulitin ko. Love is the essence of our mission. We are to act in love. Love your neighbor as yourself. Ito po yung pangalawang commandment. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Mark chapter 12 verse 13. We are to act in love. Dapat lahat ng gagawin natin para sa ibang tao should be done out of love. Kaya minsan, wag tayong madismaya, wag tayong ma... Yeah, but, but anyway, it's normal to be hurt. It's normal to be discouraged. It's normal to be disappointed. When you share your love to other people, when you extend your help to other people, but in return, you don't get, you know, the response that you want from them. Wag kang, wag kang madismaya. Wag kang madiscourage. Don't make this situation that you are in today to hold you back in helping other people. Sabi pa nga nung isang kausap ko, Pastor, wag ka nang kang tumulong. Lahat ng tinutulungan mo, nilayasan ka. <laughs> Sabi ko, you know, if we will do that, we don't serve out of love. Because when you serve out of love, you don't expect something in return. Not even respect. You don't even demand people na imuhang gitabangan na respetuon ka. It's their own response. Personal yun na response nila. Praise God if they will say thank you, but if they will not, no, wag kang, wag, wag sasama ang loob mo. Pero you know what? human as we are, that is actually our normal response. Masasaktan tayo. Sasabihin mo sa mo, grabe naman. Kahit isang linya lang na sasabihin sa'yo, thank you. The two powerful words, thank you. Maraming salamat po. No, Daghan kaing salamat ha. Bisag unsa ka kakapoy sa pagtabang, pagmakadungo ka sa pulong na naghan ka yung salamat. Niya napay uban nga very generous elang response when they say, we really appreciate what you have done. Okay? But most of the time, mga Amerikano ako madungo ka na, we really appreciate. No? Para bang sobrang tuwa at galak. Sa, na, natutuwa kami at nagagalak dahil sa ginawa mo para sa amin. You know, that settles everything. But even without those words, kahit wala yung mga salita na yun, we still continue to act in love because that is our mission. Our mission is to spread the message about love. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son and whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. God is the one who instructed us to spread this message about love. And the love that we will share is the agape love. The agapao kind of love. A love who will always or will never expect something in return. Kaya minsan, pag may mangyari, ako, ang ginagawa ko na lang, of course, at first, I'm human. No? Eh, talagang nasasaktan din tayo. At first, talagang I have to process everything. And then after that, sasabihin ko sa sarili ko, it was done out of love. So I don't have the rights or I don't have the right to say that, ay, ah, you know, tinulungan kita, ganito, ganyan, tapos yan ang isusukli mo sa akin, pambira ka, ingrato ka, ingrata ka. Simula sa araw ngayon, 
Simula sa araw na ito, ang tawag ko na sa iyo, si Sister Ingrata, si, sis, si Brother Ingrato. No? Pwede mong gawin yan. But that is not the essence of the love that God has commanded us to share. The love of God is our mission. We act, we are to act in love. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Number five, the last reason. Okay? Love is the essence of our identity. Okay? We are to be known by our love. Ito yung katotohanan na dapat malaman ng bawat isa sa atin sa umagang ito. Ito yung ating identity. We love God because He first loved us. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. It's in John chapter 13, verse 35. Si Jesus mismo ang nagsalita rito. Sabi ni Jesus, makikilala kayo ng buong mundo. Makikilala kayo ng buong sandibutan na kayo ay aking mga disipulo kapag kayo ay nagpapakita ng inyong pagmamahal sa bawat isa. No, kada usa sa inyo magpakita nga naghinigog maay kamu. Wow! Mauni ang gustong makita sa mga tao. Mauni ang gusto nilang makitaan sa atong kinabuhi. And maupo ni ang gustong makitaan sa ginoo sa atong kinabuhi labi na giyod sa body of Christ. Especially in the body of Christ. So that people will know that we are God's disciples. We are Jesus' disciples. Not just by our own lips. Not just by the t-shirts that we wear. Na may nakalagay doon, Jesus' disciple. And then, no? Iba yung nakikita sa nagsuot. Buti pa yung t-shirt, born again. Pero yung nagsuot, ewan ko lang. No? Minsan, yun ang nakikita ng mga tao. Yung ginagawa natin. Pag nagpapakita tayo na pagmamahal sa bawat isa, when we exercise love towards each other, people will say, ah, maumangkot kay mga anak na sila sa kinoo. Maumangkot na kay mga praise the Lord mo na sila. <laughs> Mauna ay kasagaran na comment. Ah, maudi ay. I remember ko sa akong nabanggaan. <laughs> Pariho may reaction. And, uh, you know, na-disgrasya ko last week. Kabangga ko o oh, oh, sa kasakyanan, darirapot sa atubang ang sa opisina sa tuwed. Pagkabangga ron sa sakyanan, dugay kay kuninaog, yung kay Brian, ayaw pag naog. Wala to na to, sila mo naog. Nanaog sila mag-asawa, gunit sa ulo ang isa, ang bana. Ana sa sir, nag-stop naman sir wala di kakakita nga nag-stop na. Kawan ako nabantayan, i-overtake mga kutsi sa kuha. Pag-overtake niya, diritso insert sa pool. Pero, ako, basta ako ang makasasala, <laughs> akong sala, akong dakong sala. <laughs> Lilin ako mo tingog, ana. unang word nga ni Gawas akong baba, Sir, sorry ka ayaw. Wala ko kabantay nga wala pa rin ka nilarga. No, naka- Tamak na ko sa akong accelerator. Sorry git ka ayo sir. Sorry ka ayo. So wala lang ni gawas akong baba puro sorry, sorry, sorry. And then picturean na mo ko. Ayo ka bala ka sir. Um ipaayo na to imo sakyanan. Um so na bot mo pulis ana ko. Okay lang. Masettle na ni kami na lang magstorya. Ay taghan na magay traffic na magkaayo. Pag uli nila sa ilang balay, ako pa silang gitek, sir. Ako di ay tong nakabangga sa inyo ha. No, uh, kanos ani mo gusto ipaayo imo sakyanan. Ilang gitanaw akong pangalan. Pagtanaw nila sa akong pangalan na ay common friends nga naa didto. Tingon nila, 
Halak ka. Pastor, man di ay itong nakabangga na ito. Mau di ay buutan to. Hallelujah. May na lang. <laughs> Pero ako, sige ko kingon nila nanay. Pasalamat yun ko sa ginoolab. Ay si nanay, wala na may tingog-tingog. Eh. Balo naman siya sa damage sa amo sa kinan. Ana, si, ano ko saya, pasalamat ko sa ginoo kay dili arrogante, dili wala nang isog. No, normal ko na nakuratan ko silang doon, na untol ko silang doon sa front seat kay ako may nakabangga nila ko sugko to. So, ana ko buutan ka isila. Anang pagingon ako nga isettle lang nato si hisiki, ana wala man kitay memo ni kay disgrasya man. But last I think two days ago, nagkita mi para mag ariglo sa mga sa ako ang atraso only to find out that they belong to the church of God no um dia sa my people's park na church ingon na ko siya daan palagi ko sir na ko nga ko ang kay ko sa imo ang itsura ba mura familiar kay sa ko sir imo itsura di ba ningon ko sa imo taga city ay baka taga UM baka and uh, finally nagkailaila mi nga dia man ko nag school ag extension sa Bible school sa Davao Bible College sa ilang church. So, moto, nakita na ako siya niya. Kaila siya nila, Doc Guada Fernandez. No, uh, moto nga, ana siya, maulag yung day, sir, na tingala na mi sa kumisis ba, muling putan to kay Pastor Monday. Sir, pariho ta ba? Pariho ta. Same feelings. <laughs> ana ko siya, uh, mo po na akong comment. Karon nga, nakabalo ko nga, mga born again born mo, ingon na ako, maudi ay, nga buutan kay kawa ka ng isog. No, kay Cristiano day ka. Love is our identity. We are to be known by our love. Panagsara po biya ng iyon, Ana. No? Panagsara po na usahay ka ng mabalikasan biya yun kapag ikaw may nakabangka na tanga man ka, nagwa man ka, nagpanaw sa man ka, wakay mata. <laughs> na yung mga inana, mga incidente. But, you know, the reaction, it shows that that person or that couple is really filled with the love of God. No, ang wife nag-work sa World Vision. No, ilado man ang World Vision. So, panggit sila. They are committed believers in Christ. Why is love the greatest? It is only through that love that our faith finds its true expression. And the opposite is also true. Whenever something is less than loving its origin, it's not the good news of Jesus. Oh, tinood. No? Kung ang atong, ang atong gugmagikan sa ginoo, mo pakita gina sa tinood na expression. No? Makabless yun ang tao. Pero kung wala ang atong gugma, wala nakabasi sa gugma sa ginoo, sigurado yun na, na ang ginoo lili yun mahataga ag himaya. Kaya nga naman, the tendency is we will really react. The tendency is we will really, you know, ano bang, ang outburst ba? Alimang ka, di mabayran ba ang kakuyaw? Kung nabanggaan ka, mauntol ka, di po na mabayran. Okay, natistingan ako na nabanggaan ko sa lubot. But you know what? Mailhan yun mo, ang tao nga, ang gugma nga iyang gina-exercise, gikan sa ginoo. Kana nga gugma, makabless. Kana nga gugma, makahimaya sa buwi ng Diyos. And people will know, even those who are unbelievers, people who doesn't have a relationship with God, they will know that we are Jesus' disciples because we love one another. Another truth. Love is greater than faith and hope in that both faith and hope depend on love for their existence. You know, without love, there can be no true faith. A loveless faith is nothing but an empty religious exercise. You know, no, no, ang Pagtuo nga walay gugma, dili tinuod nga gugma, it is just an empty religious exercise. It is just like a ritual. No? Murag ritual lang na siya. Murag, kanabang, kultura na lang na siya. But anyway, 
if that genuine love no that we exercise it will give a real faith in action and because of that faith we will always have hope in the lord mo na ang faith of hope nagdepende sa genuine nga love nga imong gina-exercise sa imong kinabuhi because if that love does not comes from god if that love is just a human kind of love it will always demand a response or a good response from people it will always demand you know the good that you have shown to people pero bisan pa man kung dili maayo ang response sa imo nagpakita na ka kaayo kaayuhan pero dili pa man maayo ang sukli sa imo okay lang why because it is a labor of love because the world will always say an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth but jesus said pay evil with good always win evil by doing good hallelujah sana all sana oil <laughs> as paul says if i have faith that can move mountains but do not have love i am nothing ang tindi ang tindi na sinabi ni apostle paul dito bisan pa grabe kay kagpagtu bisan pa kusog ka mo raba 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 no Naman, na mention man atin eh. Even if you speak in tongues, even if you will prophesy, and you don't have love, you are nothing. Tama? Di ba? Klaro kayo. Bisan paghaut ka mo tongues. Bisan pag grabe ka pagtuo. As if you are walking on water like Peter. Pero kung wala daw kay gugma, you are like a sounding gong or a clanging symbol wow you are nothing okay without love there can be no genuine hope a loveless hope is an oxymoron because we can't truly hope for something that we do not love faith and hope are dead sterile things if not accompanied by love walay mahimo ang faith ug ang hope kung dili genuine love ang nagpropel ani nagpropel ani no to push it to become real wala gyoy mahimo ang hope ug ang faith kung wala genuine love while the bible may contain some concepts that are challenging to understand this is quite clear first john chapter 4 verse 20 I think, yeah, this is my second to the last verse for today. If anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, he is a liar. For anyone who does not love his brother whom he has seen, cannot love God whom he has not seen. Ang tao nga nagaingon, nga gihigugman niya ang ginoo, apa nasilag siya napungot siya nalagot siya sa iyang isig ka tao bakakon ka na nga tao agagay sakit no tinuod bi ani eh. kanang magingon ka nga love you na ko si Lord mabalug ka Lord kabalug yung ka nga love ti ka Lord Lord labra nag kanang bitaw bang membro nga nani pero wala ni diri sa to ha Now, bang member, I love you, Pastor. Love you, Taka Pastor. But I cannot stand with your wife. Oh. Pero wala na diri. Pero nakadungog ko ana, nay nagsulti ana. No, love nilang Pastor, pero kalaban nilang asawa. Napuyo ban love nilang asawa, pero kalaban nilang Pastor. Pareho ra na. Pagbiyog ka nga, love nimo si Lord. Pero di ka makapasaylo sa nakasakit sa imo ha. Di ka makapasaylo sa mga tao nga wala butbut na imong ginapasabot. No? For anyone 
one who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. Di gani ka kapasaylo? Di gani ka ka hata ko another chance sa tao nga imong nakita. Ang uban sa ato ana, amigo pa gyud nato, ang uban sa ato ana mga quote and quote best friends pa gyud nato na PFF pa gani atong tawag. Unya pag nag-away lang mo nga naman kay walang sa kabayad sa giutang niya nga suman sa imo. Nahimo na dayong buruka. Dako na kayong isyo. Unya moingon na dayong ka. Ah. Amanos. No? Ako ning balunon hangtod sa akong ikamatay. Wow. Impirno gid ka paingon. Kung imo nang balunon Tanan nga nagabalon o kasakit. Tanan nga nagabalon o kaligot-gut, kapungot. Hangtod sa ilang ikamatay. Impyerno ang painggan na na. Because sa langit, walay lugar ang mga taong dili makapasailo. That's in the scripture. And this is the last verse. The only thing that can count, or the only thing that counts is faith. Expressing itself through love. Muna ayaw, ayaw yun pagsulti nga kanabang kanang, kanabang believer ka. Ayaw yun pagsulti nga born again ka pero dili day ka makapasahilo because your faith should express your love. This challenge, no, this word really challenged me greatly because like you, I am a broken person who fails at this loving thing all the time. Do you know that? Envy, hate, jealousy, and rage are all part of my mature, or my nature rather, that I must reject daily. Part ni sa Adamic nature. Na every day I have to renew my mind. I have to renew my mind daily in the Lord. Even as I press on to grow in the likeness of Jesus, but because of His grace toward me and you, He makes this pathway of love possible. Tungod sa grasya o kalooy, nga mo mo dagay dahil sa matag-usa sa atong kinabuhi. Mao gini ang makahatag ka nato kalikon kusog nga makapadayon ta sa atong pag-exercise sa tinood nga gugma nga gikan sa Dios. Let's continue growing in love even as we desire to grow in faith. It's our only way forward. I will make a rundown of the message that I've shared. Why Love is the greatest because of these five reasons. Love is the essence of God Himself because God is love. Love is the essence of God's promise because we are love. Love is the essence of our worship we are to respond to God in love. Love is the essence of our mission. We are to act in love. And lastly, love is the essence of our identity. We are to be known by our love. People will know that we are God's Jesus disciples if we love one another. Let's bow down our hands and pray. Father, we thank you for the word that we have received from you today that we fully understand the essence of the real love, the love that this world cannot give, this love that not, not an ordinary people not an ordinary person that can give it to us except for the love that we have from the Father and through His Son, Jesus Christ and manifested to us, ministered to us by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, 
For this love, this agape kind of love, the agapao kind of love, will always, Lord God, cover us wherever we go. Lord, whatever we do, we will always bring glory and honor to you by expressing the real love that comes from the Father through His Son Jesus and administered to us by the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for this morning. Bless each one who heard your words today. But Lord, we are not just, Lord God, hearers of your word, but we are also doers, oh God. Help us to apply what we have learned today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you really want to experience the love of God, this kind of love that I'm talking about, or this kind of love that Jesus was talking all around the scripture. If it is your first time or second time, maybe third time, to listen to the Sunday online service, I encourage you to accept this love that comes from Jesus. Jesus loves you so much and He died for you. That's why today, Jesus is still knocking at the door of your heart. And Jesus says, if you will open the door of your heart, I will come to you. I will dine with you. I will sup with you. And you will be my child. And I will become your personal God. If you desire to have that genuine love from the Father, I ask you to pray this prayer with me. Recognizing that it is God who is the source of the real love, the genuine love from above. Second, you have to invite Him. You have to, you know, you recognize. Then second, you have to receive Him because He wants to come in into your life. And pray this prayer with me today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today. Lord, I present to you my life. I give to you my life. I surrender everything. Because I recognize that you are the source of the real love. Lord, for so many times I've been looking for love from other people. But there's no real and genuine love. Because only in Jesus that I can find that real love. Today, Lord, I understand that I need you in my life. That's why I ask for your forgiveness. I repent from all my sins. And I invite you to come into my life. I open the door of my heart so that you can come into my life as my Lord. Savior and King over my life. You will be the one to sit on the throne of my heart and you will run my life, oh God. You will be the captain of hosts. That's why I surrender my life to you today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for these people who prayed this prayer with me today. Lord, I pray if they have prayed it seriously and with, with all sincerity from their hearts, oh God, you will honor their prayers today and you will allow them to experience your goodness, your loving kindness, your being a merciful and a gracious God. Bless the words of their hands today. Bless the families that they are represented today. Bless all the endeavors. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Congratulations for those who have prayed, that you, uh, to those who have prayed the prayer with you today. I believe that today you, be, you become a member of the kingdom of of God or the family of God. 
Thank you for listening to the word this morning. And happy Hearts Day to everyone. We are not done yet, so please stay for Pastor Pao to come. Thank you, Pastor Blair, for reminding us why love is the greatest. So one thing lang, no, this is my takeaway, na kung tinuod niya ana ang gugma sa ginoo sa ato, ah, dili tama ni malos, but always respond with love. Diba? Bisan unsa ta ka gifted also, no? If we don't have love, we do not represent God, for God Himself is love. Amen ba? So also, I encourage everyone not to share your takeaways right after our online streaming today. So please do share what you have learned or the message that struck your heart today. Also, I encourage everyone to continue in their life group meeting so that you can further discuss the greatest love of God. Also, to all of our life group leaders, we do have a life group copy for you to have a format no? or guide every time you do your life groups. Also, the office or the thread office is open no? for life group meetings with just a maximum of 10 people. And also every time that you will have your life groups to office, please observe proper health protocols. And if you want to be scheduled ahead, Please contact Teacher Joy for your bookings. At malapit na po tayong magtapos. But before we end, it's our selfie time. So grab your phones and take a photo of you while watching our online streaming today. Okay, take your time, Ted fam. Thank you for joining with us today. This has been your host, Pastora Pauline. And you are watching The Word for Everyone Church Online. Please stay for the prayer of benediction. Before I will give the uh, benediction, prayer of benediction today, I would like to uh, offer this prayer in behalf of the, the Word for Everyone Dabao leadership. We would like to extend our heartfelt uh, condolences to the family of uh, Miss Jade. Alcantara for the death of his of her father and also to brother Arnel Alcantara uh, and uh, sister Mitz Alcantara Misano. So uh, we will be praying for this family, the Alcantara family, for this uh, we say untimely death of uh, Tatay Tay Aurelio Alcantara and let's continue to pray also for the whole family for God's protection upon the whole family of Miss Jane ang yang kuya o si nanay that will be protected okay let's bow down our heads and pray Father we come to you today and we lift up to you the Alcantara family the Alcantara clan Lord we lift up to you Sister Jade Alcantara and her, her her mother, oh God, and her brother, and also, Lord God, with brother Arnel Alcantara, and also with uh, Ati Bing Alcantara Misiano, with uh, teacher Mitz, and the whole Alcantara clan, Lord, we lift them up to you today. I pray for your grace and your mercy to be upon all of them today, Lord God, for the death of Tata Aurelio. Lord, I pray for the Holy Spirit to comfort them today. I pray, God, that you will give them peace and strength that comes from you, God. Lord, embrace them with your righteous right hand. Lord, you will embrace them and you will carry them close to your heart so that they could really feel your love, the overflow of your love towards them, the overflow of your mercy and your grace towards them. Salamat, Jesus. Renew their strength, oh God. Day by day, Lord God. Lord, starting, Lord God, this week, Lord, you will minister. You will visit, Lord God, this family, Lord, the Alcantara family. And I thank you, Lord, for your protection upon all the members of the family, Lord God. Lord, I pray for your angels that will encamp and surround them right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. To Him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before His glorious presence, both now and forevermore. And all of us will say, Amen and Amen. Good morning and God bless you. Happy Hearts Day.